Hey everybody, Left Shark here. So today I think I'm going to be doing greed mode. I've never done it before, at least not on this account. So I figured I would try it out. How have you all been? I've been pretty good. I started- oh my god, the frog is gonna start right now! Okay, shut up. Alright, so sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I know I said I wasn't gonna be doing a daily, so I really shouldn't have to apologize, but... Uh, okay, so you get the shop here. Really shouldn't have to apologize, but it's just kind of basically what happened was the whole thing that I had with Isaac where it was like blinking and stuff. I thought I had to figure it out, and then I went to record and I didn't have it figured out. <sighs> and I basically just kind of was like, all right, well, I guess I'm not going to do anything. And then I realized I had a huge fucking update on my computer. So I sat here at my desk for, I don't know, an hour and a half while my computer updated. And then as soon as my computer was done updating, my graphics card was like, hey, now that your computer's updated, uh, you can update your graphics card too. And I was like, okay, well, I, oh, okay. So if you step on the thing in the middle, you take damage. Got it. Anyway, I was like, oh, you can uh, you can update the graphics card, too. And I was like, okay, so that took another hour and a half. And by the time I was done with all that, it was like 10. And I was like, all right, well, I, I don't even want to record right now. And my freaking crickets in my cage next to me, because I got my spider and my frog next to me. They were just chirping away. So I was like, it, it was, oh, jeez. It would just be a shitty recording. I'm not even going to worry about it. So yeah, that, that's why I didn't record yesterday, which is sad, because I really wanted to record. Because yesterday I started schooling, and oh, man. I literally have a meme for a teacher. He walks in and like the first thing he's like, he's like, this is physics three, right? And I was like, well, uh, because well, I'm taking fucking psychology 102. I was like, this is, I hope not. I'm about to get fucking killed. Okay, am I gonna die? Am I, am I gonna be bad? Okay, you just give me a second, I'm gonna focus here. Oh, jeez. Anyway, and I'm like, no, and everyone in the class is like, well, this should be, this should be Psychology 102, and he just looks down at his paper, he just says, damn it, so that's, that's how that started. He's a pretty old guy, like, freaking Bernie Sanders looking ass guy. Oh my gosh, please don't die, please, alright. But yeah, he's a pretty old guy, he talks, and he freaking does not give a shit, he was swearing basically the entire time, like, he even said, god damn it, at a school, he said, god damn it. So yeah, that, that's the kind of teacher that I have, and I basically learned I was going to be doing fucking term papers this, this semester. And I, I've been in college for a little while now, but I've never had to do a term paper. Uh, what do you guys think? Probably, probably this, right? No, I want to buy the key. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, he was like, oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna have you do term papers, and he like described term papers to me and everything, or to us and everything, and I was like, oh, this, this fucking sounds terrible. So we're gonna be doing term papers this semester, and. Basically, he sat there and talked for an hour and a half about the rules on his exams and the rules on his term papers. Ooh, sweet. So that, that was basically my entire first day at school. I only have the one class going for me because, you know, money, of course. But yeah, so don't have school Tuesdays or Thursdays though, so I'll probably be doing a lot of my recording on those days after I'm done at the after I'm done at my work, which I couldn't go to today because my mother woke up late for work and she had the keys in her car, the keys to my fucking desk at work, so I can't do my job unless I have those keys. So I freaking text my uh, manager, and I'm like, yo, sorry, I can't come into work today because I don't have my fucking keys. And she was like, oh, hey, you suck, blah, blah, blah. She was chill with it, though. So I was basically just sitting here, and I was like, well, I might as well record because I got the whole blinking thing figured out. And, you know, about that, why the hell does my freaking computer need an update cause blinking to my OBS rec recording? I mean, it's probably because, like, you know, when your computer needs an update, it gets really fucking slow and everything, so it's probably just having trouble translating it over to memory. But what the fuck? Such a pain in the ass. So, okay, so I can win now, but if I do that, I get to deal with the devil, I believe. Anyway, I'm gonna go get this, because it's a pretty good item. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh. In order to get a deal with the devil, I have to fight the devil. That's interesting. Fuck this boss. Fuck the haunt. Fuck these little ghosts that- The haunt isn't that bad. The haunt has like- he's really predictable and he, you know, he just kind of goes up the top, the top of the thing. But these ghosts are purposely very unpredictable and it's super annoying. See? Like, that boom, that easy to dodge. I should- I should probably stand further away to get the bigger damage boost from- 
from Lump of Coal. But anyway, how, how are you guys doing? I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I freaking almost got into a car crash with my freaking Mustang yesterday. 1967 Mustang, beautiful machine, okay? And I almost got into a car crash yesterday because I was going, you know when the lights yellow, blinking yellow arrow means you can turn as long as it's safe, right? Well, there's this guy coming down the road and he was going right and he turned on his blinker and everything. So I was like, okay. And literally the closer he got to the freaking light, the slower and slower he got until finally he was turning the corner. And I had already tried to turn so I can just get out of the way because there was cars like, you know, probably a good 300 meters behind him but I didn't think it would take him so fucking long. It literally almost took him half a minute just to turn the corner. So I was just in the middle of the lane. Finally, he got moving. I barely got by. And the guys are honking at me. And I'm like, yeah, no fucking shit. Obviously, there's a problem here. So yeah, that was a huge freaking pain in the ass. I hate people who are just bad drivers. They piss me off so much. Like, I, I literally just get physically upset at people who are bad drivers. Because it's like, you're in a freaking... 2,000 pound death. Ooh, a dime. You're in a 2,000 pound death machine. You can't drive like that. Like, seriously. What the fuck? But yeah, so that, that was my experience fucking trying to drive home. And that was from school, too. So I just got done with that one and a half hour. Ugh, you know I'm gonna do it. Do it. So I just got done with that one and a half hour fucking lecture. And then I almost get hit in my car. So... Yeah, yeah, yesterday wasn't great. No, it was, it was, it wasn't a great day. I should probably buy this because then another seven cent item will replace it. Oh, never mind. I was completely wrong in how that worked. All right, well, I just have a shit ton of health now. Maybe this deal with the devil will actually be a fucking good deal with the devil. So yeah, that that was that was my first day of school. It was it was, it was pretty good. Not really, not really much to say on that. Freaking um. While I was at the gym yesterday, though, I was watching, and they have the TV there, and one of the, I think it was MSNBC, had Trump watch on, and they're like, they're like, oh my god, Trump says that all the football players not standing is, you know, it's disrespectful to the flag when they just don't like his racism, and yeah, so that kind of upset me, because that is... It is disrespectful to the flag to not stand for the flag. The flag has nothing to do with who the president is. The flag stands for the country. So, and like, they're like, so hard. Like, they got all these random people off the street to like, talk shit about Trump. They're like, oh my god, he doesn't understand your civil rights. Trump doesn't care about civil rights and everything like that. Like, it's hilarious. Like I said, I don't, I don't necessarily love the man, but seriously, what the fuck is this? Freaking people are such idiots. And literally, it's just the media that are idiots. Because, like, I don't know if you guys watch Sargon of Akkad. Oh, wow. I did that wave a lot there. I did the last one. I don't know if you guys watch Sargon. I'm going to buy this, too, because it's freaking... Oh. I'm retarded. I thought it was a shot speed. Fuck. Anyway, I don't know if you guys watch Sargon of Akkad, but he, he does not identify with Trump at all. He considers himself a liberal, but not one of the, uh... Not one of the crybaby liberals. Like, one of the, you know, we should all just do our own thing and whatever type of liberals which i you know i'm okay with and he he actually understands and he like you know gives facts and stuff so i'm totally okay with him i watch him and whatever but uh, he's constantly just like makes jokes about how bad the god damn it my phone constantly makes jokes about how bad the media is against him uh, against trump when like they will literally like they did a fucking slideshow of all the quote-unquote racist stuff he had said like oh they only send they're only sending rapists and criminals into our country even though that's not at all really i gotta fight this guy again really even though that's not at all what he meant when he was you know doing that freaking Ugh. anyway so yeah I, I got I gotta gotta watch that at the gym yeah and oh my god there was this girl at the gym I, I'm sorry I'm sorry to all my uh, feminist viewers out there who are gonna find this completely disrespectful but there was this girl at the gym and oh you all should have seen her she was ooh she was magical she had an ass like heaven I mean oh my gosh and I've I've seen her before but she was like we're actually wearing leggings and everything oh thank you uh, mask of everything she was actually wearing leggings and everything and oh my god she was fucking fabulous so yeah I got I got to sit there through that so that was pretty good that was that was a good use of my time hey um so I'll buy this to get the black heart I'll buy this to fill my hearts back up I'll use this to reroll both. <gasps> He's done it. Oh, wait. No, I fucked it up because you got to get like, oh, I'll take it anyway. Will this stay open? Can I go buy a battery? Oh, it doesn't stay open. All right. Well, that sucks. But, it, but you know, I, I, I freaking I can't believe I can't use this War of Babylon. I'm so fucking, uh, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be temperance. No, but that could be helpful. 
but yeah, she she was who she was fun. So yeah, the the gym was the gym was overall a good experience. I got to laugh at the media, you know, stuff like that. How how's your guys' weekend been? It's been pretty good. Yeah, my mine was okay. Um, I mean, obviously I uploaded the first video, so I, I obviously wasn't doing very much. If I thought that was something I could spend my time on, but yeah, I uploaded the first video of my welcome back to. Uh, now if I die, I come back as well. Uh, hey, I get my first try. You think this is funny, game? You think this is funny, Edmund? You fucking douche. Anyway. So yeah, my my weekend was pretty good. I left the D6. I'm just not gonna talk. <sighs> Can't believe I fucking left the D6 back there. Oh my god. God, I mean, I wasn't using it to its full potential anyway, but still, what the fuck, man? Ugh, at least I have two pieces of guppy now. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, fuck you. Oh, okay, well, you know, you know what they say. At least I can go buy an item or something. Ah. Uh, this. In fact, why didn't I just use that to get into my... Oh my god, I'm fucking it up all over the place right now. Um, I can't re-roll, so might as well just... Uh, Alright, I'm just not going to buy anything on this fucking floor. I, I totally forgot. Like, forgetting that D6 totally threw me off my groove. I totally forgot what I was talking about and everything. Fuck. Oh yeah, my weekend. Oh yeah, so besides that, um, nothing really big happened. I went to the bar with my buddy on Saturday. And basically how it started was we were like, hey, we're going to go to the bar. And we told one of our friends, we're like, hey, we're going to go to the barcade. Because in our area, there's like a local bar and it's got like freaking gaming machines, like old arcade machines and stuff. And then they also serve alcohol. So we're like, okay, we'll go there. Yeah, so machines from the 80s aren't very fun after about an hour and a half. And they had no fucking seating. And uh, I wanted to drink. So, yeah, I we basically left after like an hour and a half. And that, that was it. We were just done. So if you kill those guys before the second but oh gross, I've never even fought Brownie before. I mean I have, but I've always been so overpowered that his freaking bullshit didn't matter. <gasps> but yeah, so we got super bored and he had work the next day, so he didn't wanna he just wanted to play games. That was basically the only reason he even came with us. So he and his girlfriend took off, so we just ended up uh, going to the local pub. Well actually no, first we went to well the Irish bar in our area and we drank and he, well, he drank. I didn't drink because I had to drive. But, um... Oh, I did not mean to start this. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I'm bad. Anyway, so he he drank there, and um, we tried freaking uh, chicken... Chicken gullet, or whatever chicken... Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically the throat of the chicken, and they like deep fried and they give you horseradish with it, and it's actually oh my god, I need to start muting my phone apparently it's actually pretty good, like the horseradish I thought brought it together, but my buddy preferred it with ranch but I thought the horseradish was good and this because I'm afraid it'll disappear, might as well ooh, spectral hairs that'll actually probably help a little bit I like how it also changed my tears from red back to see-through, that's interesting did I ever go in here? Uh oh, oh okay. That was almost a complete and utter fail. Hey okay. there. Yes! Oh okay, I'm out. Uh I will wait till the next floor for that, because fuck those machines. Anyway, so he drank there and then we tried the chicken freaking I cannot believe I cannot think what they're called. But yeah, it's basically the throat of the chicken. They were pretty good. I had a Reuben, and it was an Irish Reuben. I don't know what made it Irish, though, because it just tasted like any other Reuben I've ever had. Um, it was pretty good, though. And he had mozzarella steak. And this freaking place. Okay, so you know, you know the freaking um, triangle that represents like the Illuminati. Yeah, that was the size of their fucking mozzarella sticks. They were huge, and they like put Parmesan cheese on them, and they give them six. And, like, my sandwich cost me $8, and it was, like, a standard sandwich, you know, had normal bread and the freaking tater tots and everything. 
and then he just got these mozzarella sticks, and they were so big. Like if you would eat, if you ate all of these at one sitting, you would have hard poops. Like there, there's no, there's no arguing that point. They were so fucking huge for no reason. Oh hell yeah. And it was for the same price as my sandwich too. That's what blew me away the most. Oh really? Oh hilarious. Oh, I take double damage now, don't I? Or does that not happen in green mode? I have no idea. Happy my damage is so high that my freaking flies are just insta killing these fools. But yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Like freaking. Uh, it was it was so much mozzarella <laughs> and like i had one and i was like oh my god like it filled me it clogged me up something fierce and this guy had freaking he ate one that night and then we went to the other bar and we drank a little more we played some darts and i didn't understand at all how to play dart the dart game that we were playing it was called like 200 or something like that and like the rules are like super obscure and stuff i i didn't get it but uh freaking he ended up conceiving to me because the bar closed and he couldn't win and i was the only one who had gotten a freaking bullseye because I, I know how to get points in it, I just didn't know what the rules were to win. So the automatic thing was like, nope, you're losing. And I was like, oh, okay, if you say so. But yeah, so we went there, and there were these guys, and they were sitting there, and freaking, there was the one guy, and he was the DD, you could tell. And then all of his buddies were just trashed out of their minds. Like, they were just like, oh, duh, oh, duh. It was, it was hilarious. But, um, so we're sitting there, and they look at me, and they're like, are you, are you, are you, are you the Jaeger bomb guy? I was just, just like in between my darts turn and I was just drinking my beer and I was like, the what? And they're like, the the Jaeger bomb guy. Have you seen the vid the Jaeger bomb guy? And I had no idea what they were talking about. But they're like, they're like, you must be the Jaeger bomb guy. And I was like, uh, okay. So apparently I was the Jaeger bomb guy at the bar with these people I had never met before in my life. But um. So I so I'm sitting there and they're like, oh, we should get Jaeger bombs, man, for Jaeger bomb guy. And then they made last call. So my buddy was like, or I was like, hey buddy, you want another drink? And he was paying for my drinks because he missed my birthday. And he was like, he was like, yeah, sure, just give me another cider. And he's like, you can get whatever you want. And I was like, okay. So I decided to get a to get a Jaeger bomb because they were all getting Jaeger bombs. And I came over and I like ordered my Jaeger bomb and she poured mine with all of theirs. Like the bartender poured my drink when she poured with all of their drinks, and I she hands me it and she's like, "Oh, there you go." And I walk over and the guy brings all of his drunk buddies all their Jaeger bombs, and I sit down and I, I walk over and I'm like, "To Jaeger bombs!" And they're like, "Oh, Jaeger bomb guy!" Cheers, ding ding. And um, they're like, "He must really be Jaeger bomb guy." And then their uh their DD was like, "Yeah, guys, he bought he bought a Jaeger bomb so he could drink it with you." And they I guess read it and, like heard what he said and thought it, he said that I bought Jaeger bombs for everyone. And and that's what I thought he said too. And I was like, what, what? No, no, because my friend was paying for my drink. And on top of that, I would never pay for a table full of random drunks to get their, I'm gonna fucking lose, aren't I? Anyway, a table full of random drunks to get their Jaeger bombs. So I was like, what the hell? And then he, he's like, no, no, no guys, that's not what happened. And I was like, thank God. And as we're walking back to my house, because this bar is like really close to where I live, hence why I'm an alcoholic. Anyway, as we're walking back to my house, my buddy's like, so, and I was like, yeah. He's like, you didn't use my card to pay for all those guys' drinks, did you? I was like, no, man. He was like, good, because I was about to freak the fuck out. I was like, yeah, I would too. Fuck it. I don't even need Sister Maggie. And now I get... Oh, my my damage just went up so much. Fucking Horror of Babylon's active now, plus Abaddon. Holy crap. Should I just save my money? Uh, Yeah, I'll just save my money. Uh, he's not on sale. But yeah, so freaking he was... I mean, I was relieved too, because I thought that there had actually been a mistake and she had actually charged me for all the drinks, but he ended up only spending like 50 bucks and we had like four drinks each, so it was obvious it was just our drinks. But yeah, that was that was almost really crappy. I'm going to turn off my heater here so you might hear a beep. Okay, it just beep. I was wrong. All right, so we're all um, talk about actually talk about Isaac here. Um, we're all the way down to Shoal, so that's pretty good. Um, this is gray, so that's the damage. Ugh, I suck. Anyway, we're all the way down to Shoal. We'll buy a key. Not on sale. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, we were doing pretty poorly, but then that Abaddon totally saved the run. So, um, I mean, I think Guppy's head is still better. 
but I will have that available to me. Do I take full damage? Here's the question. Okay, I still only take half hearts of damage. Oh! Oh, gee. Oh! He's a genius. He's done it. Oh, you know what? I think that's worth two key purchases. Oh, but I also have to take the damage again. Worth it! Come on. Card payout for me. Uh, at least I got a lot of bombs. But yeah, so so that was pretty much the highlight of my weekend. I didn't do much else than that. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm just shooting that fire, but it was for fun. Didn't do much else than that. It was pretty much pretty much just a boring, casual weekend. But I, I was just bored, so I was like, "Hey, dude, you said you would. Uh, you said you owed me for not being at my birthday. You want to do something this weekend?" He was like, "Yeah, sure." So that was what we ended up doing was going to the bar because that's all me and my friends do anymore. <sighs> oh yeah, um, so I, I'm a connoisseur of Dungeons and Dragons, and I recently completed oh, I recently completed one of my campaigns with all my friends, and it, it was it was a pretty pretty fun experience. Um, Basically, I ended up making like all their like all of their original characters gods, and if their original characters weren't gods, then they like lived these super awesome lives and everything like that. And I, I think they all enjoyed it. I need to start remembering to use my guppy's head more often. Oh my gosh, it's a good thing my damage is so high, or I'd be getting wrecked right now. Is do I have flight, or am I just getting really lucky with how I'm navigating these poops? But yeah, so that, that was oh, oh dude, I'm an idiot. In order to get my coin, I freaking throw everything. Away. Oh. Luckily, my head is at orbital. You know, this I think this is the first time that a freaking guillotine has ever actually helped me. But yeah, it was pretty fun, so we decided we were going to move on to a different game. And there are a few game choices that we had. I, like, invented my own... I, I don't know if you guys know this from my profile picture, or my profile background, or basically anything about my profile, but I really enjoy Mass Effect. So I invented my own, like, Mass Effect role-playing game similar to Dungeons & Dragons. And I was like, okay, we can play one of three games. We can either play my Mass Effect role-playing game, they're like, okay. I was like, we can play Outbreak Undead, which is essentially a super hardcore survival RPG. It's like a, a zombie, obviously zombie Outbreak Undead. It's like a zombie RPG. And oh, oh I thought that was the, I thought that was the final one. Is there anything from here? I kind of want Black Candle just to pad my health a little bit. I think I'll do that. And uh, oh jeez. Um, the last one was I was going to do like a, a cowboy style uh, Pathfinder game, which, you know, like uh, because the game the game has really like good rules to like manipulate it into different eras because it has the rules are kind of just like up there. So all you need to do really is like explain why they are in the eras they are in and then it's easy to to basically do. And they decided to go with Outbreak, so now basically every week I'm freaking planning for this like super horrifying thing that has to happen to the- Ugh, I can't. I, I can't. I, I just can't. I can't do it. I mean, it'd be super good- actually- Oh, it's not gonna stay open when I leave though. Yeah, it's not gonna stay open. If it was gonna stay open, I would've come up here, bought that heart, and then went in there. I probably should've actually bought that heart before, so I would've had some fuel to- But then I might be- I guess the fight would've been harder with that Horror of Babylon. But alright, so it looks like we're down to the shop, I think this floor is called. And then we fight Mega Greed or Ultra Greed or whatever he is. So yeah, they went with Outbreak, so now every week I basically have to plan just horrible things to happen, like terribly scary scenarios and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Alright, um, I think I'm just going to save money. This guy's up. I will. <laughs> you know, I really wish. I mean, I actually, if I had bought that full or the PhD, I guess it wouldn't have changed any of this, huh? I'm just gonna wait for this to not be bad anymore. But yeah, so it, it, I mean, it's been fun, but it, freaking Outbreak is a stressful game to both play and to DM because you have to keep your players afraid basically you have to like keep that intimidation factor up because if they start to not be scared then they'll start to make stupid mistakes with their players and then they just get themselves killed there yeah i didn't mean to uh 
walk over that, so my bad. Anyway, so it, it's 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 been some work, but you know, um, I I think it's been worth it. And my the guys seem to have been having fun. Like the very first session, we I just killed off one of our best friends, like one of the group's best friends. I was like, he's dead now. And basically, I gave them the choice of who was going to die. Like, they knew what they were doing when they chose to kill him. And I was like, all right, you know he's going to die, but sure, make that decision. So I freaking basically just killed off one of our best friends. And I was like, yeah, this game's hardcore, and you need to know that. So, you know, just just so you know. And they were they were all like, oh, shit. And then the, I, I, I feel like my one of my biggest strengths when it comes to DMing Dungeons & Dragons or any sort of game like that is that I have very good, like cinematic presence like i can introduce it in a way like a tv show would introduce it and it makes people like oh that's super sweet like that makes them think of tv and like of the walking dead and stuff so they actually think that they're like important people like you know important characters from the walking dead and stuff like that so that that's that's pretty cool that's that's one thing i really like about dming and one thing i think i'm pretty good at uh, other people you know i feel like basically produce stronger individual games but i feel like i make it feel more cinematic where everyone feels like they're just this a super important hero which you know it's not bad to do it either way and it's not necessarily good to do it either way it's just how i how i feel like i i produce as a dm and it's pretty sweet yeah i, I mean outbreak is an insanely hard game like in order to hit another human so like say you're fighting a psychopath or whatever in order to hit that human you need to get like freaking Oh, you need to have, get like under a 20% on a freaking 100 side to die. So it's like, it's just, it's insanely hard to do. Oh, what the hell? They really don't want me getting this deal with the devil, huh? Well, fuck me. I can't even afford to deal with the devil now if I wanted to. Very funny, Stain, you ass. Oh, can this guy give me coal again? He can't, right? Nope. Uh, actually, I kind of want it. I feel like it'll be helpful against the greed fight. All right, I'm gonna grab this. Is there anything here that can help me? God, I wish there was like a freaking three spirit heart thing or something. Um, I guess I can reroll a few times. Hi y'all. Doesn't help. Hi y'all. Uh, candle could be really helpful. I think the key gives me a spirit heart. Yeah, it does. Okay, well. I feel like my tier rate is already capped, so I guess I'm just gonna move on. Three hearts and a dream. I'll just have mom step on step on greed. That'll that'll teach him. Even though he has the fucking all that damage reduction and shit, I'm probably so fucked. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna fight normal greed. Oh, two normal greeds. Well, I'm an idiot! I freaking guppies headed that. Oh my god. I wish I was dead. I'm so gonna die now. Ugh. So you come in here, and this guy's all like, ooh, look at me. Then you go, eat mom, douchebag! And then he takes like no fucking damage. From it. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Oh my god, the explosion on those is huge. That was really bad of me. I should have freaking tried to get out of that better. So yeah, what, what do you guys what do you guys think what do you guys thinking I should play? You guys thinking I should play some uh some Counter Strike maybe, maybe some uh, League. You guys want me to go back to League of Legends videos, which I would hate and I would want to kill myself, but I would do. Um, well, you guys just want to see more Isaac, where I just rant for a freaking 27 minutes straight? Because I mean, I have no problem with that. I, I was, ha I was, ha I'm having a good time. So I know he has that a thing where he like throws down a bunch of coins that summon dudes, the keys, and I, that's what I'm most afraid of because. He is going to screw me with that. Luckily, our damage is really good. Like, I I've, don't... Greed doesn't usually die this fast, so... Oh my gosh, what the... What? Why are they blank? What, what does blank mean? What does blank mean? Does it just mean they just spin around and cause damage? Like, what the heck? 
Uh, can he do it? Can he face his first ever greed fight with only three health? Let's wait and see. What? What hit me? What? Oh, guy's coming out of that door hit me. Okay. So I don't think Ankh resurrects you in the base, so I may be completely fucked here. So I'm basically, I'm sorry if I'm really quiet right now, I'm trying to focus on getting murdered. Yeah, I'm so fucked. I mean, the one advantage I have is that my base damage got higher, got higher, so I might be able to like do something about it, but I'm probably completely fucked right here. Which is a great run to just completely get fucked on, but I am terrible, and I've never once, I've never once said otherwise, so. Probably should have tried to, like, play more, you know, didn't have to worry so much about how much money I was going to donate, because freaking... Should have bought more items it would have made me stronger but a lot of those items are like tears ups and stuff and i'm pretty sure i'm at the like the non non manipulated tier cap like five or whatever it is so i'm i, I wasn't like oh I, I have to get more stuff i was pretty sure i was just basically sol when it came to that sort of stuff so these things i see these things like pop do they actually explode or okay so i'm insta killing these guys now so my damn my base damage was definitely heightened it's gonna be funny when I get a freaking blue baby win because of this. Oh my god! No! You motherfuckers! There's so many of you! And my freaking head keeps going into the wall, so I can't even kill half of them. Oh my god, now Greed. All of a sudden, Greed only has to hit me once to win. God, I suck. I might not even upload this video. I'm so pissed right now. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna upload it. I'm too lazy to make another one. See, how am I supposed to worry about killing these and getting him not have his health come back while I'm trying to fight a swarm of enemies? Quit healing yourself, you bitch! Oh, fuck! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I assume these ones that don't have symbols on them just do damage to you when they hit you. I am so behind the times. I'm, it's like I'm making a video from 2016. What is going on? Oh, he's charging. Everybody's rushing. When's the last time you guys listened to that song? Friday by Rebecca Black. I listened to it the other day. It's a pretty good song. It holds up. It holds up pretty well. And if you don't know what that song is, then you, sir, are behind the memes. Or ma'am, I suppose. I doubt it, though. Oh my gosh, they explode so big. That's what she said. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right here. I'll be fine. Yep. Oh my god. Much luck this one has. I am super trying to focus right now, boys. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Alright, alright. Can he do it? Is the dream real? I have a really good chance, even if I do get hit, because of a mixture of guillotine and, uh... Oh my gosh, he's healing himself again, you motherfucker. Because a mixture of guillotine and the freaking infamy thing. A really good chance of not taking damage even when I do get hit. He needs to stop healing himself though, the motherfucker. Also, he spawned a little coin. How does he even do that? Oh my god! He's done it! He's done it! 
The cracked dice has appeared in the basement. He's done it. Woo. Woo. Lucky Penny. Woo. Oh my god. Freaking I had only had problems against his minions. He only hit me, I think, once that entire time. What the fuck? Special hanging shopkeeper. I'm unlocking so much stuff. Oh my god. Alright, boys. Well, I freaking did it. I'm gonna keep donating this here. Freaking keep going on. Thanks everybody for watching. This has been Left Shark. Oh my god, the wooden nickel has appeared. I think I need a hundred a hundred in this still or a a thousand in this, nine hundred and ninety-nine, whatever, to unlock a uh, the keeper, and that'll suck ass. Anyway, boys, I I've done it. I'm I'm a freaking mad. Oh, I finally got a battery. Duh. I'm a freaking madman. I'm gonna get out of here. This has been Left Shark coming at you hot. Bye.